Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new DLC for Jurassic World Evolution 2, the Park Managers Collection Pack, featuring animals that are highly requested by the community, as well as one that's sort of a lesser substitute for a more highly requested animal. But nonetheless, this is certainly going to become one of my favourite packs just because of the, the species in it. Like, this pack is certainly for the fans, and it's a, it's kind of the one I wasn't really expecting, but I'm actually happy that we got it. But it does sort of seem like this may be the last pack, however, because Jurassic World Evolution 3 is coming, and if I'm going to be completely honest, I think Cenozoic species should be saved as sequel material rather than be added here. Although we do ha now have a Cenozoic species with the new Megalodon. Yes, it is in fact Megalodon, not the <laughs> not the trolls online that were saying, oh, it's going to be a Crotoxy Rhino or a Squally Corax or any other prehistoric shark that wasn't Megalodon. As I said, when the jaws were revealed, they only, Frontier would only have made a big deal about the most famous shark in prehistory. So, without further ado, let's see what this pack has to offer. So our first species is of course the Megalodon, by far prehistory's most famous shark and the largest that we know of. So this animal was found in the Pliocene and preyed on whales particularly. Now I do actually really like the design here as it's not necessarily a scaled up Great White, although the pattern certainly does scream Great White, but it really has a short blunter snout than a Great White and a bit of a bigger head than I was actually expecting. It certainly looks very streamlined and I really like that. The long pectoral fins remind me of an oceanic white tip which are a pelagic species of shark that is actually closely related to great whites. The dorsal fin and the faint striping that you can see really gives it gives up a tiger shark sort of look. The tail fin I don't really know but um, there are plenty of sharks in the world that could have been inspired by any of them but it doesn't have the hook at the end like a great white certainly does. The spots really do remind me of a whale shark and potentially even a zebra shark as well. I just love how this Megalodon's got features reminiscent of many of the world's most famous shark species. In the second shot we can see the Megalodon with a very yellow underbelly going after a smaller, much smaller great white shark. And I'm really going to look forward to seeing this animation play out as this pack is coming out on May 16th, so this Thursday. And yeah, the, this is looking pretty damn cool. I love the teeth in the in the jaws though. Like you can see a row of teeth behind the front ones as sharks do replace their teeth throughout their lives and do have several sets. But it, it's going to be interesting just watching a gigantic Megalodon eating the tiny little great white that is there in comparison. It'll also be interesting to see Megalodon face off against the Mosasaurus, as that's certainly something I know a lot of people will have a go at. This shot in the trailer is just iconic, seeing this massive shark swimming through, and the kelp in the background as well is certainly really cool to look at as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to introducing the Megalodon to, to the game, uh, to the game, to my parks I should say. And it does almost look like it's got a bit of scarring in the front. Or I don't think that's a new feature, I think that's just a bit of their design. And when you look at several sharks, you can see that they do have a bit of scarring around their faces. Our second creature, by far the most requested dinosaur in the game, Microceratus. The last dinosaur from Jurassic World Dominion is finally making its appearance in Jurassic World Evolution 2. I do think it will have the three skins that did appear in Dominion, the dark blue one as well as the one that was somewhat inspired by the website version which is like a red and yellow and then a bluish green colour uh, microceratus as well. But it's looking really cool here, taken straight from the movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to having the microceratus finally in the parks. It seems to also be the smallest dinosaur in this pack. And yeah, I'm just glad that we finally got all on-screen species now. On-screen is in the films, but um, yeah, we're still waiting on that smile zone. But as I said, Cenozoic's are uh, sequel material, so we'll have to wait until Jurassic World Evolution 3 to finally see the smile zone, I think. But 
right now, we should be really happy that we've got the Microceratus. And I'll have to find a new species to harp on about. Because another species was also taken up by this pack. We also do get another look at the Microceratus in this shot of the trailer. Standing up much like a meerkat. And I think it was actually scratching its arm or its belly. And yeah, this guy is certainly going to be become one of the cutest animals in the game. It already is. Like, look at those huge eyes. It really does look like a baby dinosaur, but that is full grown. And we get a look at these vibrant colors here. Like, you can make some really colorful microceratus. And the detail on the scales, too, is very cool. And you've got a much blander one in the back. So there's going to be a lot of variation. Our third species, our carnivorous dinosaur for the pack, is... Segisaurus. Now, it may look very basic, much like a Coelophysis, but it is a close relative, so I think it can be forgiven in that regard, but this animal is much more important than it looks. Segisaurus was actually part of the original roster for the for Jurassic Park. It's like it went all the other species, Metric, Anthosaurus, Protosaurus, Rarosaurus, and all the other ones, but Segisaurus was also on that list, and we never saw it, and it has never appeared in any Jurassic media necessarily since that map was revealed but it is so good to finally have Segisaurus in some form of Jurassic media it's been a long time coming but we're finally here and it looks great too like I love the detail here you can certainly differentiate it from the Coelophysis in many ways like it's got a different pattern and a different body structure as well so I'm really going to be interested in comparing the two of them but yeah Segisaurus at last and we do get another look at some of the more interesting colors and patterns so you got a much greener Segisaurus on the left and a much redder one on the right we're really excited to introducing these guys into a Jurassic Park setting as yeah as I said finally Segisaurus we also get a new pterosaur in the pack now you may be thinking oh it's Hatsugotrix hooray it is not Hatsugotrix. I was thrown as well. Like, when I saw this early in the morning, um, this was actually... I, I was thinking this is Hatsugotrix until I read the actual DLC notes and found out that it, in fact, was not. So this is Thanato, Thanatos Draco. Uh, Dracon. It, it's, it's a name I'm having to get used to because I've actually never heard of this guy before. So Thanatos Dracon is an Ashdarkid from South America unlike Hatsugotrix being from Europe, but they do share a lot of similar body appearance. They share a lot of similar features, so it's easy to get confused between the two. And it is cool to have an accurate Ashdarkid in the game, as the, the Quatlus is certainly movie-fied. That is not a word. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see a much thicker head, a, a thinner neck, smaller body, and we do actually see it going for a bit of a hunt. So we see it grabbing a goat like some kind of eagle, which wouldn't have necessarily been possible for real Ash Darkies. They would not have necessarily hunted in this way. But this is the Jurassic universe, and honestly, it's a cool kill animation. Like, we've never really seen this sort of thing with the pterosaurs where they actually grab the goat by the hind legs and pick it up. And in the trailer, I love the trailing goat sound effect just that eh then that was <laughs> that made me laugh when i first heard it but yeah so the natos dracon is certainly a name i'm gonna have to get used to and yeah looking forward to seeing this guy in action even though it's not hatsugotrix but hey hatsugotrix could be become the next most requested animal in the game who knows although i think smiles on may be that new animal so now we move on to a couple of update features. Now there are only three, unless, although the skin for that we'll get to later might actually be part of the pack, I am not sure. But we have kelp. We have giant kelp in the lagoons. Ladies and gentlemen, our lagoons will no longer feel so barren. Uh, because like, you, you look in the water and you can place decorations, but they don't take a lot of, of the water space up. So the lagoons have often felt quite empty. But now with kelp, you can really give it a sort of... You can give it a canopy and some coverage and make it look much more interesting. 
like kelp. It, it may be such a simple thing, but it does so much for the lagoons. It gives them an atmosphere that is really cool. Like you see the megalodon here swimming alongside the kelp. That just looks awesome, and with the viewing gallery as well. Like I can't wait to use this kelp with all the other marine animals. So there are three pieces for kelp, so it's probably going to get uh, much thicker. Like there's going to be a lot of uh, lot more kelp the further you go. So number one could be quite scarce kelp, or may maybe even shorter. Second one could be much. Th there could be more kelp in one clump, and just maybe a bit taller, and then you get to the giant kelp. Which is much taller they could however be three different pieces and they're just all of different heights i could see that happening i kind of see that that could be the case you just have to place all these different height of kelp around each other so that does seem to be a potential case for this but kelp yeah i know a lot of people have been excited for this and it's almost trumped all the animals in the pack which is very interesting but that, i guess that shows how valuable free updates are but yeah, so that is the Kelp Edition. Now, onto the skin. So there is one skin that I do think might actually be coming to the pack because it is from Camp Cretaceous. So remember back when we got the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack and we only got Big E.T. So Big E.T. was one of the T-Rexes featured on Manticore Island in Camp Cretaceous Seasons 4 and 5. And people wondered, where's Little Edie, her daughter? Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally getting Little Edie. Little Edie is getting her skin in Jurassic World Evolution 2, and taken long enough, I think. But yeah, I am really looking forward to having Little Edie and Big Edie in a park now, because now we've got the other daughter duo. So I'm really, really happy about that. Hopefully we can get some of the other Camp Cretaceous skins at some point. I can see that happening if Frontier before the game ends decides to make a Chaos Theory pack as Chaos Theory is right around the corner. I could see them doing a pack and adding in the remaining Camp Cretaceous skins with it. And of course the Beckle Spine Axe and all the other new species variants in there. But yeah, Little Edie has been a long time coming. There is one last feature that was mentioned that there is going to be a Terrestrial Lagoon Light. So a, a light that is somewhat similar to one in the Lagoon, that's what I'm getting from that. That you'll be able to light up your parks with. I know Evolution Square was very excited when she heard this news. Um, but yeah, so that is all that we have thus far. So that is the Park Managers Collection Pack. Now this pack is pretty damn solid. Like these animals are highly requested. Like I finally got Microceratus <laughs> and said you saw us a Megalodon. The Natos Dracon will certainly um, be an animal that we'll get used to and yeah so all these species very cool additions and I can't wait to see how they behave in game we've only got such a short look at them but yeah these animals will be become very valuable as time goes on as yeah you can apply them to so many different habitats like I'll finally have Microceratus in that Jurassic World recreation that I made um, a few months ago and Sejisaurus can finally be part of a Jurassic Park recreation. And Megalodon, well, we finally got a Cenozoic Sea Monster, so that'll be really good, and a proper shark. But yeah, let me know what you think of the Park Managers Collection Pack in the comments down below. 16th of May is when this pack comes out, and you'll be able to get your hands on Megalodon, Sejisaurus, Microceratus, and Thanatos Dracon, as well as a little Edie skin. And in the free update, you get the giant kelp and a lagoon light, as well as several bug fixes and the the normal stuff. But yeah, really excited. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe as we will be covering this pack when it releases. So, as for now, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.